Hello, I am going to show you how to create an easy login page and show you how it basically works. So what we are going to do is first create a page called um, login.php and what login.php is going to do is send us to process.php when we have filled our username and password in. And process.php is going to show you if the login was successful or not successful. So what you first want to do is open a text editor and start making the login page. So we're going to start with form action process.php because we want to direct this page to process.php. Method will be post. Sorry. Close your form. Now we're going to make the first uh, input for the username. So input type will be text name will be username and this one now we're going to make it for password input type will be password password name name will be boss and this one too now we want to create the login button oh uh, yeah, the login button. We're going to do that with a submit button. So input type will be submit. Value will be login. Close this one. Save it and open it so you can uh, see the result. See now you have. Uh, login page you can type right now you can type anything you want and it will direct you to process.php it will show this because um, process.php hasn't been made yet so what you want to do right now is um, get the information from the from login.php and we start with the variable Sorry, variable uh, username. So get the information from the input uh, box from login. So we do dollar sign post because the method was post, and then the name of the input. So username. Now we want the password, the information from the password same thing the name was pass if I'm right yes close it with a semicolon now you want to make a uh, password something like um, my youtube channel name and as password admin1 something like that so what you want to do is if the username is uh, my youtube channel name and the password is admin1 then um, it will t it will show something like you you have logged in so how do you do that you type this if username is um, my youtube channel name and password is admin1 then do this so what you want to do is um, put this on the screen and you do that by an echo so you have logged in and save it So I'll show you if it works. So you type, you type my uh, YouTube channel name and admin one. Click login, and it will say you've logged in. After that, you want to make sure that um, you can't fill any wrong information. So the password has. Of, uh, the password must be admin1 and the username must be 
uh, my YouTube channel name, else it won't work. So how are we going to make it? You type, you type, sorry, you type. Else do this. So else do echo you have not logged in user name or password incorrect. Now we're going to test that. So uh, I'll type hello and uh, type the password right. So the password will be admin one, but the username is wrong. It will say you've not logged in. You see right there? So now I'm going to try to explain how this exactly works. So you first fill in the login page, then you want to get from login page, you want to get the username, what you have filled in on the username and the password. So you do that like this. Then you make uh, the password and the username and you say right here if the username is my YouTube channel name and the password is admin1 then you do this, you echo you have logged in only if it is exactly the same like this and this so if this is true it, it, will, it will say you've logged in if I change um, password into this so my real name, not my YouTube name but my real name it will only accept this and this so if it's not my real name it will say this so we're going to test that so I type Tinoy admin1 login say you've logged in oh shit sorry I forgot to save so admin1 login you've logged in type something wrong login it say you have not logged in so if the username is Tinoy and admin is Admin, uh, sorry, password is admin1 do this, you have logged in and here you say else so if it's not Tinoy and it's not admin1 do this you have not logged in so that's basically how it works